Good morning, Comets, and welcome to Tuesday. I'm Kylie. And I'm Mikey, and hopefully we were able to celebrate a shorter week this week. Last week was way too long, so I really hope you're right about that. Well, the first thing to a good week is good weather. Mark, what do you have to tell us? What's up, Central? It's me, Mark, and I'm here with your weather. It's pretty chilly this morning, but later today, the highest is going to be 82 with a humidity of 36. Around 4, it's going to be really nice and warm after school, so make sure you're drinking your water. Well, that's the weather for today, Central. Have a fantastic day. Back to you, Anchors. Thank you, Mark. I love it when you talk. By the way, Comets, can I just say how happy I am to be back on air? You know, I am too. It's real nice, but we still have a lot of openings here. If you're even a little bit interested in joining news, show up around 7. It's a free fine arts credit, and it's just a lot of fun. I agree. Now, let's talk about what is going on around here. We have lots of ways to get involved. First, GSA is getting underway. GSA stands for Great Gay Straight Alliance. The first meeting is today in room 264 from 3.30 to 4.30. Dungeons and Dragons is hosting an informational meeting this Thursday after school in room 185. Campaigns begin Thursday, September 14th in room 185 from 3.30 to 5.30. If you have any questions, stop by room 185 and talk to Mrs. Yake. Now, here's a great leadership opportunity. Freshman applications for student council are due this Friday, September 1st. Please stop by Mrs. Hoffner's room in 234 or Dr. Fuller's room in 225 for an application. Remember, too, that next Monday we have Labor Day, which means school's off, but then after that we have even more clubs getting underway. So, let me ask, are you a trivia fan? If you enjoy testing your knowledge in a fun, relaxed, but competitive atmosphere, please join us Wednesdays from 3.30 to 4.30 in room 237 for In The Know. We will be practicing on Wednesday, September 6th. Please see Ms. Chrisman in room 237 for more information. And then, if you enjoy reading, talking about what you've read, and have a bit of a competitive streak, you will love Battle of the Books. The first Battle of the Books meeting will be on Wednesday, September 6th at 7.30 a.m. in the library. See Mrs. Savage in room 190 or Mrs. Keck in the library if you are interested or have questions. Plus, Key Club, which is a service organization, kicks off their year with an ice cream social on Wednesday, September 6th at 3.30 in room 157. And finally, we have theater getting underway. We are opening with the musical All Shook Up, and auditions are coming up September 5th, 6th, and 7th. If being on stage is not your thing, you can always join crew. Crew applications are due on September 5th. Now, let's over to a news feature with our new crew member, BJH. Good morning, CC. Name's BJ, and I'm one of the new freshmen. Today is National Celebrity Recognition Day, and today we're recognizing the famous Roxanne Jones. Roxanne was an African-American social activist and politician and was the first African-American woman to serve in the Pennsylvania State Senate in early 1996. She was described by the Philadelphia Daily News as a person who always saw hope, never defeat. Ed Rendell, the mayor of Philadelphia at the time, called her the city's nonstop energetic whirlwind who battled injustice with every ounce of energy she possessed. If you guys are adventurous, I know I am. Being a type of activist could be the perfect person for you to be in the future. I hope you guys and girls have a fantastic day out there. Anchors, back to you. Thank you, BJ. I'm excited to see what you come up with in the future. Now, let's see what's happening in our world of sports. Sports is coming to you from our new members, Tim and Jacob. Good morning, sport fans. I'm Jacob. And I'm Timberly. And we have sports for you today. Let's start with result news. This past Friday night, our cross-country team competed in the Muller Primetime Invitational in Mason. The team competed hard despite the heat and humidity. Let's take a look. Until the end, until the final, blow of the whistle, sound of the horn. Job cross country. And then, in Friday night's loss to West River North, Malik Kamara set three school records. All-time career rushing yards, 2,150 yards. Single game rushing yards, 290 yards. And single game all-purpose yards, 444 yards. Congratulations, Malik, and the entire football team. And we still have more congrats. This goes to our Lady Comets varsity soccer team for winning their home opener, beating Whitehall High School 10-1. to Goals for Central were scored by freshman Aubrey Dixon with two goals and four assists. Freshman Audra Thompson scored two goals and one assist. Freshman Maddie Estep had one goal and two assists. And freshman Rory Fellow scored one goal. Sophomore captain Riley Murphy scored one goal. Sophomore Jessa Ball scored 
a goal, and senior Addie Rudolph scored one goal. Senior captains Haley, Tri- Haley Triplett and Brianna Jackson each earned a goal for the Lady Comets as well. Freshman starting goalkeeper Kylie Solberg earned win with two saves and our record now 2-0. to zero. Please support the Lady Comets soccer team tonight as JV and Varsity travel to Mar- Marysville for our first league game. Now let's see what's happening tonight. Tonight, going against Westland at home is our girls' JV and varsity volleyball at 5.30 and 7. Come out and support our Lady Comets. Also happening today is our boys' JV and soccer home against Marysville High School, JV at 5.30 and varsity at 7.15. And girls' varsity soccer is away against Maryville High School at 7.15. For our tennis enjoyers, girls' varsity is away at Reynoldsburg at 4.30. Shortly after school tomorrow is our girls' varsity tennis team is away facing Big Walnut at their home court at 4 p.m. And then we have some tryouts coming up. CCHS Cheer is holding cheer trials for the upcoming basketball season. Clinics are Tuesday, September 5th, 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. in the Ox Gym. And then tryouts are Wednesday, September 6th at 3.45 p.m. Please stop by Coach K's room in room 159 for more information. Also, we have some gymnastics news. Open gym for gymnastics are 7 to 8.30 p.m. 5th, 12th, 19th, 26th of September. All events are held at the Vitality Athletic Center. Well, that sounds like all the sports we have for now. Back to you, anchors. That- good job, you two, and good luck to our Comet athletes. Well, Comets, that's all we have for you on this kind of chilly Tuesday morning, and I'm pretty tired already. Well, wake up. It's your first new show of the year. Get hype about it. But you forgot to mention that it's my last first new show of the year. Ugh, seniors. Are you seriously seniorphobic? Sure am. See you tomorrow, Comets. Bye.